Okay. Do you feel like it is impossible to live for God? Or do you feel like you are trying your best in trying to live for God. What if you had one month, let's say you have one month to live, one month. Let's say you know the day and the time. What would you do? Would you have the same mind frame as in it is impossible for me to live for God or would you place extra effort in trying to learn about God or place effort into that in trying to learn about God and or how to obey his rules. Hmm? Okay. See, there may be an advantage of knowing when you are going to die. But I believe many of us don't know when we are going to die. Hmm? So if you don't know when you are going to die, and if you choose to not live by God's rules, isn't that a huge risk? If you knew when you were going to die, I guess you could play around until the last hour or the last day, I guess. But if you don't know when you are going to die, isn't that much riskier? If that is a word. There is a person, I used to print out stuff and pass it to people. And I was contacted by a man and he invited me in his place. And I guess he was asking me some questions about myself and stuff like that. And I think he told me, I forget, but I think he told me that he's not really a religious person or wasn't. Or something like that, but something happened to where I guess one of his lungs got messed up or something. So where he only has one lung or something, I actually, I don't remember all the way. So I guess he was expected to die or something like that. So I believe the thing he told me, since his life is the way it is now, why not give this God stuff a chance? Okay. So I guess, I don't know, but for that man to give God a chance, I guess I can say. I guess it took his health condition to get bad like that. Look now. If you are really interested in something... I think there is something that we all may be interested in. You know, you may be interested in video games, 
makeup, weave, dancing, or something like that, right? You may place so much attention to what you are interested in. Let's say you are interested in dancing. You may watch dancing videos for hours trying to learn a new dance move, perhaps. If you are interested in video games, like how I was, you would spend, <laughs> you would probably spend, like what I used to do, so many hours in playing video games. How is living for Jesus Christ any different? If you want to become good at something, unless you are some type of genius, which I am not, I guess, I think much of the time it is going to take us much time into getting good at something. So how is living for Jesus Christ any different? Place much time into it. Do you believe you can pray for 20 seconds once every two, three months? Do you believe like that is going to help you maintain your salvation in Christ? I think you are going to have a very difficult time. Living for Jesus Christ, from what I know and experience and feel, is an everyday affair. Every day, all day. Not only on Sundays, not only on Saturdays, every single day, not only for an hour or two, not only for this and that, all day, every day. So if you only see it as, well, I'm going to place time into God only, only on Sunday, you know, I would talk about him. I would read, I will read my Bible. I will pray only at church or only on Sundays for this short time period, but once I am out of church, or if it is not Sunday or Saturday, I am going to the club, I am going to listen to rap music, I am going to live like a heathen. No. This is an all day, every day affair. I'm not saying that we going to be praying for 24 hours a day. I am not saying we are going to be reading the Bible for 24 hours a day. But what I am saying, your life should be conformed. Huh? What I am saying, your life should be conformed to that which is of the Bible which pertains to us. So your life should be conformed to Jesus Christ's rules all day, every day, not only at church, not only at prayer meetings, but all day, every day. So if you see living for Jesus Christ as a part-time situational thing, you are going to have, I believe, you are really going to have much problems. But anyways, but anyways, what if you knew the time and day when you were going to where you are going to die? You would probably become more serious. Some may not care and just die in sin and whatever. But I think many or some, probably I should say some, probably some would really 
Like, hey, let me stop playing around. Let me really get serious. So, hey, why not get more serious now? I think the more you live for God, you will see, probably, turning your back against God for sinful pleasures is a waste of time. I'm telling you. And if you are anything like me, well, let me not say that. So I pray this makes sense. Let me stop here. God bless you.